Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll see another example on writing Tyset matrix. Question is, for the graph shown in figure, write a loop matrix and express branch currents in terms of loop currents and also write related branch voltage equations. Loop matrix is also called as Tyset matrix. To write Tyset matrix, first let us write number of nodes, number of branches, number of twigs and number of links given in the network graph. Number of nodes n equal to, let us count the nodes, a, b, c and d are the nodes. So number of nodes equal to 4. Next, number of branches. Number of branches B equal to, we have a branches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total number of branches 6. Number of twigs. T equal to N minus 1. That equal to 4 minus 1. Number of links L equal to B minus N plus 1 where B is 6, N is 4 which equal to 3. Next, let us write number of tie sets possible for this network graph. Number of tie sets is always equal to number of links. Number of links here we have calculated it is 3. So number of links equal to 3. Next order of tie set matrix is L by B and uh, tie set matrix is indicated with the letter B. Here we got L equal to 3 and B equal to 6. So order of matrix will be 3 by 6. We will have 3 rows and 6 columns. Let us draw the tie sets possible for it. For this step 1 is select a possible tree from the given graph. So I will draw the tree. Tree is a subgraph which consists of all nodes but no closed path. Firstly, I will draw the nodes and then I will draw a possible tree. For the given network graph, there can be a possibility of many trees, but you can select any one of the tree. For this graph, I have taken this as a tree. Let us draw tie sets for this. Tie set 1. So tie set 1. Let me redraw the tree. A, B, C, D, 5, 4, 6. Tie set is nothing but it is a fundamental loop or F loop which consists of only one link and one or more twigs. So we can form this as one tie set. So tie set is a fundamental loop or F loop which consists of only one link and one or more twigs. And you can see here the link current is here one. And you should take the loop current is always in the direction of link current. So this is how 
the loop current is flowing i am going to call this loop current as i1 this loop current as i1 and this is tie set 1 and branches involved in this tie set 1 or i'll just note down the branches involved this is branch current 1 4 and 5 if you write the branches involved like this then it is easy for you while writing the tie set matrix next tie set 2 A, B, C, D and 5, 4 and this is 6. Next possible tie set. This is the next possible tie set. This is the direction of 3. Okay. And if you see the direction of current in this loop is always the direction of flow of current in link so this is the direction of flow of current so in the same direction the current will flow here let this value be i2 and this is tie set to the branches involved here are 3 4 and 6 next tie set 3 A, B, C, D. Okay. Tie set or F loop or fundamental loop is a loop which consists of only one link and one or more twigs in this fundamental loop you can see only one link and one or more twigs and direction of loop current is in the or direction of this link current let this be i3 branches involved here are two five six okay the branches involved in this loop are two five six now let us write the tie set matrix tie set matrix is indicated by b and the order of tie set matrix is 3 by 6 where 3 is the number of rows 6 is the number of columns number of rows are nothing but this loop currents i1 i2 i3 and 6 are related to branch currents we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and elements of tie set matrix are plus 1, minus 1 and 0. Uh, if the direction of uh, the branch current is in the direction of this loop current, it will be taken as plus 1. If direction of branch current is in the opposite direction of uh, loop current, minus 1 will be taken. For remaining nodes, we will put 0. Let us see the first one, uh, tie set 1. Because I1 is related to tie set 1. Branches involved here are 1, 4, 5. You just put 1, 4, 5. Remaining will be 0. And identify whether 1, 4, 5 or plus 1 or minus 1. To identify plus 1 and minus 1, you check whether the direction of these branch currents are in the same direction of uh, loop current or not. If you check for 1, this is 1 is in the same direction of I1. So, it will be plus 1. Next, check 5. Here, direction of phi is in the reverse direction of i1 because i1 is flowing in this direction from the figure you can see so you will put minus 1 next 4 4 is flowing in the same direction as i1 so it will be plus 1 okay next second row i2 let us look at tie set 2 the branch related to set uh, tie set 2 or 3 4 6 remaining will be 0 remaining elements in this row will be 0 because they are nowhere connected in this loop that's why we are keeping 0 if you see here uh, the branch current 3 is in the same direction of i2 we can put 1 and here you can see this is in this direction i2 is flowing in reverse direction so we'll have minus 1 and in 6 and i2 are flowing in the same direction we can have plus 1 next row 
I3. See the ties at 3. The branches involved here are 2, 5, 6. So 2, 5, 6. Remaining elements will be 0. Because the remaining branches are not involved in this loop. And let us see the direction of currents here. Branch current 2 is in the same direction of I3. And branch current 6 is in the reverse direction. Because here the flow will be like this. I3 flow will be in reverse direction. So we should put minus 1. And here the branch current 5 is in the same direction of I3. So it will be plus 1. This is how we fill the elements in the tie set matrix. So this is the tie set matrix obtained for the given tree. If you draw another possible tree, you will get a different kind of tie set matrix. And in the question, we are asked to write a loop matrix. And we are done with writing loop matrix or fundamental matrix or tie set matrix. Next thing is to express branch currents in terms of uh, loop currents. Let us write KCL equations and then KVL equations. KCL equation corresponding matrix IB equal to B transpose. I L. The order of uh, branch current is B by 1 and this is 6 by 3 or you can write in general B by L and loop current matrix is column matrix L by 1 and this is B by 1 is 6 by 1 and this is 6 by 3 and this is 3 by 1. I am assuming the branch currents as I1, I2, I3, I4, I5 and I6. If you do the B transpose of the earlier equation, we will get let me rewrite this uh, earlier equation I have got here. B equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. zero, zero 1, minus 1, 0, 1. And the third row is 0, 1, 0, 0. 1 minus 1. From B matrix, I will write B transpose 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1. And IL or loop currents, earlier you have seen the loop currents as I1, I2 and I3. So I can write I1, I2 and I3. By multiplying these two matrices and equating on the left hand side variables, we will get the equations like I1 equal to 1 into I1 plus 0 into I2 plus 0 into I3 equal to I1. I2 equal to second row equal to 0 into I1, 0 into I2 plus 1 into I3 equal to I3. I3 equal to 0 into I1 plus 1 into I2 plus 0 into I3 that equal to I2. I4 equal to 1 into I1 minus 1 into I2 plus 0 into I3. So I can write I1 minus I2. Similarly, we can write I5 equal to minus 1 into I1 plus 0 into I2 plus 1 into I3. You can write minus I1 plus I3. I6 equal to 0 into I1 plus 1 into I2 minus 1 into I3. You can write I2 minus I3. So we have expressed branch currents in terms of loop currents. Now let us see how to write KVL equations. 
this is the equation which will help us to write branch voltage equations b into v b equal to 0 where order of b is l cross b 3 by 6 and order of a branch voltage matrix is b by 1 that is column matrix let us start writing this earlier we got b as 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 next 0 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 next 0 1 0 0 1 minus 1 coming to branch voltages i am assuming the branch voltages as v1 v2 v3 so on v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 equal to 0 this is also a matrix if you multiply these two matrices the order obtained will be 3 cross 1 okay we will get 3 by 6 multiplication of 3 by 6 matrix with 6 by 1 matrix gives us 3 by 1. So you can write this as 3 rows and 1 column. And if you multiply these two matrices, we will get the equations like 1 into V1 plus 0 into V2 plus 0 into V3 plus 1 into V4 minus 1 into v5 plus 0 into v6 equal to 0. If you do so, you will be getting the equation like wherever you have 1s, the corresponding uh, 1 will be multiplied with the corresponding element here. So, 1 into v1 plus v1 plus v4 minus v5 equal to 0. Next, same repeated. 0 into v1 plus 0 into v2 plus 1 into v3 plus minus sorry minus 1 into v4 plus 0 into v5 plus 1 into v6 we can write this as uh, v3 minus v4 plus v6 equal to 0 next 0 into v1 plus 1 into v2 plus 0 into v3 plus 0 into v4 plus 1 into v5 minus 1 into v6 we can write this as V2 plus V5 minus V6 equal to 0. These are the KVL equations or branch voltage equations for the given graph shown in figure. That's all for this video. Thank you.